<laughs> Welcome back to Anno1800 for campaign, the expert difficulty campaign. We've made already so much progress, so don't hesitate to check in the video description below. In particular, in the last episode, we completely revamped the new world. We have La Isla completely covered with John Aneros, with great coverage of post offices, so we're making tons of mail. And in Manola, we covered it with a lot of Artista and John Aneros. I mean, look at those numbers. I think before the previous episode, we are at like 2,000 John Aneros, 2,000 Obreros, maybe something like 5,000 Artista. <laughs> we are more than 10,000 on each. And more importantly, we're giving everything to those people, right? We're giving them all of the basic needs, all of the happiness, as well as a lot of the lifestyle needs. If you missed that episode, definitely head out to the video description below to see the full series. Today, we're going to focus actually on the old world, right? We fixed the new world, so let's fix the old world. But before we do, you know, let's look at the World Cup. Actually, to be honest, I've already finished one World Cup. This is already the second World Championship. We're being pampered here. Feels like a holiday. You could cut the tension with a knife. Goal! <laughs> so, you know, the game is ongoing or the championship is ongoing. You can see the players. Oh, that was a good shoot. Oh, oh no, no, no. Can we see a goal? It'd be great to see a goal. Oh, no, no, no. Almost. So yes, we have the championships, but what is really amazing... Oh, I think I missed a goal. Yeah, they, they, they put a goal. But what is really amazing with this Time building... to find out if the alpacas can beat the Nandus. Oh, alpacas against the Nandus. Okay. So here it is. The second championship is done. We delivered quite a few resources, and therefore we get this fan tribute. Not the, the perfect one, but almost. And we should get 135 of influence yes 135 of influence that is amazing football championship 270 i've already done two each of them brought me 135 so it's not like i have to continuously do it it's just it tops up on it's on top right it's always on top and so that's amazing with this i've been able actually to also continue growing my fleet in the old world i'll show you that but yeah the only thing is now we have to wait 40 minutes before we can start the next one but definitely i will continue to do the next one as soon as possible i am losing my enthusiasm also before we go into the old world you may remember that at the end of the last episode we were actually low on copper i wasn't providing enough copper to the new world now that has changed so if you look at my roots over here what i've done is now i have a lot of copper productions for example this is a new island i'll show it to you in a second from this one this new two from eli and from a few other islands I'm bringing all of the copper to my new capital because we do need quite a lot of copper there. So we're centralizing it over here. But then I do have a route with two of those steamships that is going from you know, the new capital to Manola to make sure that we always have enough copper over here. So yes, done that we have so much influence. Let's continue to make more ships, you know, very important. But let's also look at my productions. So first and foremost, what I've done is I started to delete some of the old productions that were not needed because there was quite a few old productions, things like a lot of soap, a lot more of sausages, those type of things, which were necessary when I had tons of artisans. But now that we move into engineers and even investors, I obviously need a lot less of those kind of basic resources. So this has been cleaned up a lot. A big part of that cleanup has also been to solve and to fix my canned food production. If you have ever played Anno 1800 before, you know that canned food is one of the worst production ever. It actually loses money for you in the expert setting over here and it requires quite a lot. It is those canneries, but before those canneries, you need the artisanal kitchen, which is very slow, it's two minutes. And for these, you need the beef, which takes a lot of space, and the red pepper, which is something that very few islands have that fertility. But I managed to buy the most OP item in the whole game, which is Chef Michel. Instead of using the goulash, the building process is in pig. So basically, you don't need this whole part over here. You replace this with just pigs. Right, that's what you can see over here, iron plus pig. On top of this, by the way, you also get a sausage, one out of two. So that is really amazing because basically what it means is the pigs I was using before for sausage, now I just use them for the canary. And actually I only need three of them, so that was easy. So obviously I deleted all of the artisanal kitchen, I deleted all of the cattle farms, and I also deleted all of the red pepper farms. This used to be on this island over here, 
right? You may remember this was over here. There was tons of red pepper. Deleted dipped all. And basically this island became useless because this island was for my hop and for my red pepper. So we don't need the red pepper anymore and we don't need the hop either because I'm making the beer in the new world, right? So I just deleted that island. Now, by the way, talking about production in the new world and the old world, you may remember that we can do the sewing machine both in the old world and the new world, right? We have a good production on Manola of those sewing machines and that's supporting Manola because we need a lot on Manola. So I did look into, you know, should we delete this and put it in Manola? You may want to do it in particular because you have electricity on Manola, but you do have to realize that it's actually a bit more expensive in the old world. If you look over here, you know, this is 500 of maintenance cost. This is only 100 of maintenance cost. And then you have the wood, right? If we go into now Manola, this is also 500. And given the electricity, you know, this could be better, but you're going to require aluminum shelter. And this one is one minute and 30 seconds for 550 of maintenance. So it's a lot more than the normal steel. So that's why it's not the best to make it in the new world, in my opinion. As I said, I developed a few more islands. For example, over here, we have two copper mines, one coal mine. This is making me even more copper and coal. This one too over here, for now it's only copper, but I could do also some more coal An in the future. In one of your factories. Uh, this does tend to explode quite often, even if I have four of these per station. We may want to upgrade them at some point, but you know, it doesn't cost much to rebuild it. And last but not least, I have reorganized also this corner, right? We used to have this oil power plant at the bottom over here because it was easy when I first built it, but it wasn't great. You know, this used to be a bit of a mess. So now I've organized it a bit better, I feel, right? We have quite a good organization. We have this in the middle. I do see that a couple of buildings are not fully optimized. For example, over here we have the new cab assembly line where basically I'm making enough cabs for all of my people, but it's not working at 100% because I'm not making enough chassis to make it at 100%. But I don't need to, is my point. You know, I'm already making enough steam carriages. But yes, this is basically the old production that we already had before with a couple of new ones, including the cab assembly line I just showed you over here and the gramophone factory to make some gramophones. But first, let's look at the population. Have we actually fixed it? Is this now bringing a lot of money? Well, first of all, the investors, they have now everything for their needs. They are getting the seagulls from the new world. They weren't getting that before and the steam carriages we just saw. Similar for happiness, they are getting everything, including the jewelry and the gramophone. Last but not least, you can see over here on the lifestyle need, they are getting, of course, the three males. They are getting some fur some perfume, some fans, and some film reel from the new world. We're only missing two things. One is the bare fur from the Arctic. We haven't unlocked it yet. And second is the tapisseries from Endesa because we're not making those yet either. Then similarly for engineers, of course, they're getting everything for basic need and happiness, but also for lifestyle need. Look at this. All three of the male, chocolate, mezcal, ice cream, the soap, of course, and even a new one, the medicine. The only one missing is shampoo from the tourist. We haven't unlocked it yet. And then for artisans, of course, they're getting everything for normal needs and happiness. And in terms of lifestyle need, it's not perfect yet, but I'm getting there. You know, they have the mail. They have, of course, the wool. Clay is going a bit up and down. The production is not perfect yet. Then they're getting the soccer balls, the perfume. And last but not least, the scooters. If you look over here, you can see I'm actually making enough scooters, you know, for all of my islands, but it's just above. So it's going to take a bit of time just to arrive into the old world uh, so that we have enough. But yeah, we've made definitely a lot of progress to provide a lot of resources to all of these people. This is not finished, though, because, you know, as I said, there's something like the clay I need to finish. But also over here, you have, you know, the farmers, they need a few more things. For example, they need sugar, herbs and hibiscus. And also these workers over here, they need hot sauce, some penny farthing, some soccer balls and some clay pipes. So we're not 100% there yet, but that's some good progress. And look also at my fleet. My fleet is a lot bigger now. Fleet ready. So of course, don't hesitate if you have any questions or thoughts on all of those productions, you can put them in the comments below. But I think it's good to take a small break from all of this building. And let's continue with the main story. We have the contract over here. On course. Let's send the contract. And now to my uncle on bright sand. Fueled and running. Are you just going to stand by? 
no I'm not I'm going to give you this what a beautiful island give it to me give it to me we're back at the cemetery to see our dad what's strange that this is my sister, what this is my friend. What do you do here at the family crypt, Edvard? Do you vaunt your betrayal? What are you talking about, child? Only words between brothers, that's all. Liar! You are the picture of regret. From the moment I saw you, I knew it meant trouble. Enough! It was you who sold prosperity for the Perforians. You forged Father's signature. You sentenced him to death. But now, the sentence is on you, Uncle. I knew this would happen. I was just saying to your father, I'll never come up to him. Not even having sacrificed it all. What did you sacrifice? He never understood the pain of my life in his shadow. Oh. You don't understand pain. Real pain. I can't be scared. No more than I am already. The Parforians are pure evil. I thought I had control of this frightful arrangement, but when they murdered Samuel, I realized a day would come that they came for me, too. The day they purge this decaying empire with fire and flame. Beans. But another tiresome prophet of doom, Archie. How dreary. <laughs> Hello, Queen. Lo and behold, Her Majesty. Finally, I become worthy of her notice. Well, momentarily at least. Mr. Edvard Good, you are to be placed under house arrest in Bright Sands until the time of your trial. Why not in prison? Yes. Guilty as charged. And your guilt shall long outlive you, Uncle. Look what you've done to our family. Well, we There's built no a big empire. Never. Well, we basically built a big empire, so that's fine. There will be punishment. But Edvard has suffered from the day Samuel died. He did, he did. As saviour in the new world, Her Majesty agrees that you should host this prestigious trial. <laughs> Ooh, I can host the trial. So you have a building here that is... Once built, <laughs> your court of justice shall inaugurate a new era of peace and prosperity for Empire. Yeah, the court of, the court of justice. This is actually a building that is only in the campaign. You know, if you play sandbox, you won't have that building. Forget that... me. My race is run. A true devil is loose. It must be vanquished. I will vanquish them, don't worry, uncle. But yeah, we start... I five... will indulge not one of the thousand apologies I presume he has ready. Oh, my sister. Forgive and forget. 100 timber, 50 steel, 500 workforce. That's easy. Let's go. What is Fancy this quest? Fancy making a while the sun shines, master. Please, couldn't muck me out, could you? Okay, a few minutes later, phase one is finished. Let's move to phase two right yeah, away. I think we have built up enough trust with Isabel to rely on her as a witness. Oh, yes, Isabel. She should come. Some steel. Of course, I will be a witness after all you've done for us. Thank you, Isabel. A bit of steel. I am sorry you had to go to all mm. this just to have justice. A bit of steel, bricks, and 700 walkers. So make sure you have that. Starting the phase, let's go. We want to forge something new, break away from the old. We cannot thank you enough for preventing this war. Sure. Let me help you. I know I can make a difference. Please do. Hmm, I may have to upgrade. Yeah, I may have to upgrade these warehouses soon. That will require some resources, right? And now phase two is done, so let's move to the final one. Court of Justice finished yet? Not quite? Almost, my queen, almost. I don't normally attend trials, so this one must be important. 
The queen certainly speaks her mind. I mean, she is the queen. 30 windows, 80 bricks, 200 artisans. That's fine, let's do it. And while we're waiting, let me show you that I've actually fixed the clay problem. So if you look now, I am producing a lot of clay on ditch water and also quite a bit of clay on the new capital. And now I might have enough. So we should be fine for the lifestyle need of the artisan going forward as soon as it you know, gets there. And five, four, three, two, one, done. It is a magnificent court of justice. The court of justice. Magnificent. Isn't it? I hardly dare interrupt the miraculous transformation of your island, but Her Majesty is rather keen to get on with things. Here is our ships, if I'm not mistaken. Did Archie tell you I planned to visit? I hope there's a convenient mooring for my flagship. I don't like long walks. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know, Your Majesty, will you be okay sleeping in a s farmer house? Okay, we have a newspaper. Let's do this. Usually these days I'm doing minus 30% in terms of the Ship consumption. And actually now we have tons of uh, influence. So maybe let's put also tons of money. If you think this is best, who am I? Yeah, All nice. All it needs is a sharp deterrent. Plus 45,000. That's going to replenish my you bank account. An influence bonus. Let's click on the ship of the queen. Where are all the witnesses? I'm the witness. Believe me. Your Majesty, Isabel Sarmento, at your service. I hope, as witness, I can prove the Praforians were behind this deal, not us. This is tremendous exposure. Yes. Trial of Edward begins. A modern queen must show she is able to dispense mercy. The man must be given a fair hearing. Now we need to pick up the court summons from the flagship, send it to our uncle, I'm guessing. It's been a long time since I played this campaign. Steering to target coordinates. And where's the defendant? Here he is. Gather your things, Edvard, for your trial. No, child. It's too late. Judgment has already come. <gasps> Look at this armada coming to attack. He has six small frigates to defend. That's not gonna be enough. Look! Devils from below breathing fire and flame! The Pifforians. So obviously sending fire on those sailing ships, that's gonna hurt a lot. But that's fine because... Edvard Good, are you ready to be reunited with your brother? Mm. I am. Of course you are. The heat will peel your sins from your flesh like cloth. Acolytes, purge the place. Mm. Yes, Grandmaster. Gladly. They're going to burn it all. But no, they won't. Because actually my fleet is just there. Right? Could be. If only Father were here, he'd have known what to do. No, please don't be afraid. It's time to let go. My ship has sailed. <laughs> No! And he's done. Samuel will forgive you on the other side, Edvard. I don't know. Pathetic. But then surely Samuel awaits you too. The whole good family can be reunited in the what everlasting. What do you have against us? We squeezed the life from your father's lungs, peeled your uncle's skin. You must be curious as to what we plan for you. I'm just going to kill you. We are not afraid of cowards hiding behind masks. <laughs> That's a small fleet. <laughs> Good thing I have a bigger one. A new world order is at stake. 
the empire already shaking to its foundations, and the good family helpless to prevent it. We first eradicate the offspring, and then eradicate the queen. Mm. Protect the queen. What is that tinseled marionette talking about, Archie? We are safe here, aren't we? Not really. Yeah, as safe as the situation allows, Highness. Their fleet is formidable. I count many ships. Thank you. Oh, no, <laughs> you are awfully right, old chum. I beseech you, we must protect Her Majesty at any cost. Any cost. As you see, the family wealth is... Here it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's slow down. The performance of sea is bright, Sans. They enchain it to their foul cause. Let's fight. It is a Stations. bit of a mess. I don't know where Good the enemies are. Sons, <laughs> favorites of the royal council. How I enjoyed ready? watching your family's slow and ignoble Okay, we're device. finally fighting back. Fleet, one done. Engage. Let's go, next it one. It is time, old pal. Our nemesis approaches. Go. Raise the Corsair Two call. down. Fleet, on point. All must bow to the flames. Oh, they are attacking the queen there. Oopsie. We <laughs> fight with you, no matter what. I was too busy over here. One wants prompt action against such outrage. Enemy target Ship established. under attack. Yeah, she's attacking the queen. That's not good. A ship was destroyed. Fleet on Let's route. Let's go. Fast. Because over here I basically don't have anything. I only have a flak monitor that's not gonna <laughs> do much. And there's no ships there too. Whoa, the we ship. do not solicit violence. She's Yet gonna under lose. my rule, it seems as constant as the crashing waves. She's gonna lose. For each head torn, another grows back. Where is my fleet? Oh, they're taking... A ship Wait, was destroyed. Admiral. Why they stopped? Oh my god. Because the ship that they were attacking, I think, Fleet, uh, died. To fire. Anyway, all good thing I had my cannons over here. Because look at this. Just the oh, cannons right. are enough. It is over. The last Pephorians are sunk. So we killed all of them over here and we killed all of them over there. What Stations. you did goes far beyond us, dear blood. You have saved us all from a reign of terror. I. Let's try to pick up all now of these. Now we are ready for Her Majesty. All the eyes of the world will be upon us. Moving to coordinates. Hello, Your Majesty. You lost one ship, but at least your flagship is still there. Look Up at all those subjects. How enthusiastic they seem. Do you think they celebrate me, their royal highness? Of course. In a manner of speaking, your majesty. <laughs> in, in a manner of speaking. Here's the queen. And you are absolutely sure this Samuel Good was innocent? No doubt, your majesty. Mustn't worry. Your attendance at this ceremony is nothing short of sublime. A gesture of the uttermost nobility that can heal this tormented place. Let's heal it then, and be off. <laughs> See? Her majesty is paying her last respects, just as Archie promised. Yes, just look at her. I bet she's already forgotten who we are. That's fair to say. My sincerest condolences, children of Samuel, for the loss of the father you loved, and for the tragedy caused by the unfortunate actions of your uncle. From now on, they rest side by side in the family vault. They are at peace now. For your unquestionable loyalty and bravery, you shall be knighted and bequeathed the island of Bright Sands from now and forevermore. Yay! <laughs> oh, forgive me. I always laugh at funerals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I fear, Majesty, it is time we were on our way. 
She is... Something. The queen. She's the queen. <laughs> and here it is, ladies and gents. We have finished. Bright Sands is returned to us. Father's name is cleared. So, that will be all, eldest. Will you and our hunt be leaving? No. After all we've been through. I will not be fooled, Arhant. I know that we shall one day be parted. But if my prayers be answered, today will not be that day. Oh, why Dear are you sibling, all alone here? Today is not a day for parting. Now, today is the day to take over Bright Sam. The campaign has been completed, but it's not the end of the series, of course. There's still quite a few things we need to do. Ready for action. You are the paradigm. The queen returns right hand to the heirs. Thank you. See, we're getting quite a few on, items. Yes, That's great. The Let's try to get them. The queen is saved. All thanks to your remarkable travails and hardships. Battle path set. You broke the chain. Now we are really somewhere. Fleet embarking. You are free. Hmm. I wonder if fire could fit in with my strategy. <laughs> Attention for the Admiral. This guy. I had been looking forward to putting Edvard's head through the noose. Never mind. Fleet on the move. He's a very nice fellow, this one. Phew, eh? That's one less threat to our survival that I have to take care of. Ruthless when you had to be. I like that. Yes, the world I was. is rid of a great evil. Fleet ready. So now we have a new island over here, which is basically you destroyed. An influence bonus. You can rebuild it pretty easily with one of my stamps. It is over here, bright sand. I have a video. You can find it in the video description below. But it's not what we're gonna do. Actually, we're gonna transform this island into something new. Can you guess what? Tell me in the comments below if you can, because this will be in the next episode. Thank you for watching, smash like button, and I hope to see you next time.